Hi travelers. Today I'm going to share a couple of places that you should definitely see when you're traveling to Istanbul. So one of the first reasons that anyone wants to go to Istanbul is because they want to see the Blue Mosque, which is also called the Sultan Ahmed Mosque. And do not get fooled by the fact that a mosque that looks blue is the Blue Mosque because it's the uh, Turkish architecture where they use a lot of blues. So a lot of mosques are actually blue, but not every mosque is the Blue Mosque. Right opposite the Blue Mosque is the Hagia Sophia, which is also a must see. Um, and I think the best time to visit is at the time of prayers when you can hear the azan and um, it's it's absolutely beautiful when you're sitting in the middle and you can hear the azan it's like an echo um, you hear one side go and then the other side go there is no clash because it's it's very close vicinity uh, um, and there's, there's no clash between the azans yet uh, they're very beautifully synchronized so you're going to enjoy yourself if you are sitting there in at the uh, time of a prayer and you are listening to the prayers it's uh, a very divine experience also close by is the grand bazaar or the spice bazaar which is um, a main reason a main attraction in Istanbul you should definitely go there to do some shopping you will get um, really good quality products but you need to haggle you need to bargain like crazy so whatever price they're quoting you definitely need to bring it down and um, say the most minimum price possible and really fight for a price change uh, the turkish love it and it's just general culture there that you have to haggle so whatever price anyone's quoting don't just go and say okay this is it you will have to haggle we personally got um, flavored Turkish tea uh, the first day we did not haggle at all and we got um, that tea for I guess 50 liras and the same tea on a different date from the same place we got for a much lower price simply by haggling um, we, we definitely got a lot more things on that day but um, there was a huge reduction in the price as well. So just remember, whatever price they're quoting, it, that's not the first price. You will have to decide on the first price, um, the last price. And it will definitely be a lot less than what they've quoted. The next place to visit is the Taksim Square and the Istaklal Street, which is kind of ages into the square. Um, great place to be. It is one of the most photographed place uh, in the entire Istanbul where you will see a lot of people uh, going to Taksim Square. Excuse the noise. Um, you get a lot of places to eat, a lot of places to shop. There's just plenty of things that you can uh, do uh, at Istiklal Street. So definitely be there. Also, another monument that needs uh, viewing is the Galata Towers. You should not miss it. And the best time, everyone says, is to visit uh, around the sunset where you will be able to uh, witness the sunset. And it is one of the most beautiful sights you are going to witness. Unfortunately, we did not get to see... Um, uh, we were not at Galata uh, around the sunset time. We went um, during the day. And it was um, an amazing experience because when we were there, uh, it was very, very sunny. And within a few minutes, we saw clouds come in and a storm come. And we witnessed both sunshine and a storm right after. And then when we left, we were kind of skeptical about going because it was still raining. But it's beautiful uh, when it's raining in Istanbul. It is just generally, I love the weather in Istanbul. Another place to visit is the Topkapi Palace, which is also around the Sultan Ahmed area. You will, it's it's walking distance. All these places are pretty close by. But if you're going to the Topkapi uh, Palace, you should also be going to the Eminunu Bazaar because that's where you're going to do all your shopping from. Regardless of what people say about Grand Bazaar being the bazaar where you need to shop, uh, the Eminunu uh, 
market is um, also a great place where you are going to get really economical things. You will get cheap things there. And if you're looking to buy souvenirs for people back home, then Emunu is the place where you have to go and get it from. And um, the Gavi Palace is close by walking distance um, it is um, amazing it's got great gardens so you can just chill in the gardens and relax and just enjoy the green tree so great place to be definitely go and visit it and lastly I would suggest going and taking a look at the uh, Dhormabachi Palace which again uh, is pretty photographed and when you go in they ask you uh, they charge you separately for the different areas of the palace so you if you want to see the office of the emperors then that is a different uh, rate if you want to see the residence of the wives it that is a different rate so depending on which uh, location of the palace you want to go and visit uh, you can choose um, but I think the best place for photographs is the outside of the Lomabachi Palace because it is green and you get a view of the uh, the Bosphorus so it's just just beautiful uh, I don't have any other words to explain how amazing beautiful uh, the pictures come out there so uh, these are a few places that you should definitely be visiting when you are in Istanbul. Of course, there are a lot of more uh, places on the list, but these are a few that I went to and I know for sure that these are great places and I would recommend you to go and see them. Well, that's it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that because I am these days telling you about my Turkey trip. Uh, it has come as a request from a couple of my viewers who somehow went back and watched my Turkey videos and they just wanted details about the place. So I am ready to share my experience about Turkey. If you have any questions, I would be more than happy to answer. Uh, until next time, you guys stick around.